The first thing you have to do, Victoria, is stay calm. For one thing, you're not even sure yet that you are pregnant. And secondly, you mustn't face this alone. The baby's father, but he's involved in this too. No, I was very much in love with him once, but he's completely out of my life now. Well, surely you're going to tell him. No, that would be the worst thing in the world that I could possibly do. That's my problem. I guess it's my punishment, too. Well, don't let it be. You have to have someone to lean on. The moral support, if nothing else. Certainly not going to be the father. Victoria, just a word of caution. Don't rely too much on Mason. Why would I? He's been very kind to me, but he's just a casual friend. I have a feeling that his interest in you is more than casual. I think he sees something of Mary in you, and I think this could lead to serious trouble. Oh, I don't want to cause trouble for anybody else anymore. Oh, Mother, I didn't want to be pregnant. And if I am, I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do. I think you know what to do, but I do believe that you should tell the Father. You owe it to him in consideration of the love that you once shared. Wrong. Nothing, just a little sentimental farewell. Um, I'm off to go. Drive carefully, Mason. I will, Mother Isabel. Remember what I said, dear. All of it. Mm -hmm.